Hello everyone, I'm Nate and welcome to the channel. Uh, today uh, I am a disembodied hand. Normally I have a face, uh, but for this video I wanted to kind of get right into the tutorial for this. Um, and uh, I'm going to go and show you the trick and then I'll break everything down for you. What are these called? These are the round square slim knobs, I think something like that. Anyways, uh, the fragments and so like, you know, you can actually make a, a, a K-bone, a knuckle bone sort of with them. I have that, uh, but I, I've been slinging them a lot as a big Larry and I've been really liking these. Anyways, that's what I'm going to use for this tutorial. You know, sometimes you just kind of hit a trick that just kind of has a, a feel good kind of vibe to it, right? So that's what this trick's called. It's just like the feel good trick. Feel good, feel good combo. All right, that's what we want to call it. So let me go and show it to you and then I will break everything down for you. So there it is. Uh, it's, yeah, it's a combination of a couple different elements. I talked about in my last video with this, uh, that this is what I'm going to be doing a lot more of with Big Larry. Uh, instead of just individual elements or tricks, I'm going to be showing you combos that I've kind of put together and they will have a level of difficulty. I think this would be kind of still in the intermediate combo, uh, sort of, you know, vein, but, uh, you know, each of their own, and that's maybe a little subjective here. For the length of cord here, we are throwing with a standard full length here, so that's the spring method, right? So where it's got a fakey sort of uh, grip here on the back. All right, so this is a spring, so I'm loading up here, and then I'm rolling back down, okay? Uh, but for this one, uh, we're gonna do kind of like the instant sort of like let go, right? It takes some uh, practice with that momentum, right? So as it comes up here, I'm throwing it back out, and then I'm throwing a half cap, so we're back into that mid grip here, okay? So just like that. And then I'm going to go right into a zoot, okay? And then I'm going to go into a backlash. Now, I don't think I've done a tutorial for this yet. Uh, so a backlash is a zoot that you throw a floor stall right after. No, actually. Uh, all right, so a backlash is a zoot, but you're going down into the bottom grip. All right, so you're going to be low grip, which I kind of almost messed that up, but you're going to be in low grip here, fakey low grip, okay? So you're going to start with a zoot like that, and you're gonna go down into fakey low grip. And then from there, you're gonna get right into a cliffhanger. All right, so instead of like releasing the bottom bead, you're just gonna keep in this sort of cliffhanger, you know, kind of like horns up kind of uh, sort of grab here. And then you're gonna throw that one out. If you don't know how to do a backlash yet, learn that. You're definitely going to need that for this one. So right into, again, like I said, a cliffhanger, and then we're going to throw this bead back out. So, all right, so you're here, and you're going to throw this back out, and you're going to kind of just do a, like a pinwheel at the top here over the index finger, right? So it's away from you, and then you're going to bring it back down, and it's going to land. So it's going to be over the index finger here, and it's going to be pinched in here, both fakey, right, in the low grip here, okay? So you're in this tension grip right here, okay? And then you're going to release here. As it comes up to the top, you're going to do a piano gap transfer right at the top there. So just one. And then as it comes out, so you're going to do the piano. And as it comes out, you're going to do a redirection back into this catch. And then you're going to do something that I've seen it before. I'm pretty sure I, I've kind of named it a palm roll. Okay. Uh, just to kind of is a another little fancy thing. Uh, and so what you're doing here is you're actually going to like take your thumb here and you're going to push in and you're going to roll it out just like that. So you can kind of do this as a repeater. It's kind of fun. Um, and you can actually do the other way as well. So you grip the bottom one. Okay, just like that. So you're kind of pushing in here, right? You're pushing towards into your palm. And as it comes back down, you're rolling it down. So it, it's sort of like a gap transfer kind of move where it's like it's changing beads that you're manipulating. So instead of it starting up here, it's now back down here. And you can, again, you can kind of repeat that, but it's, I'm calling it a palm roll. All right, so whole trick like this. Just like that. I'll go ahead and show it to you in slow motion and then uh, hopefully you learn it. If you do learn it, let me know. Um, tag me on Instagram maybe if you learn it. I would love to see it. And uh, yeah, thanks for uh, learning with me. And uh, yeah, hope this was a feel good combo for you as well.
All right, until the next one, happy slinging, everybody, and I'll see you in the next one.